you know, you learn the most when you fail. And uh, I don't think a lot of people are going to talk about spectacular failures, but I want to because this was one of the most important moments that happened to me in my development. And I was about, I guess, 19 or 20 years old, and I got the gig with blood, sweat, and tears. And I, I was a pretty naive, you know, like big smile on my face. Everybody join hands, and we're all going to have fun. Uh, and when you get on the road and what a splash of cold water, there are a lot of uh, guys with baggage and opinions. And when you're a young drummer, um, especially if you're not necessarily mature enough to handle a situation, all these different opinions can really just rip, rip you to shreds. I remember not knowing what to do and feeling incredibly insecure because one guy would be whispering one thing, another guy would be whispering another thing. You know, you're young, so you don't want to say, mind your business or go play your horn and leave me alone. You just kind of nod and say thanks and, you know. I remember that feeling of just being really insecure and not knowing what to do. And so what happened was I just wound up playing really badly because I was playing for everyone else but myself and the music. I was playing for all these other people. You know, the guitar player says I'm rushing. The uh, bass player uh, is his brother. He says I'm dragging. The trumpet player wants me to play Elvin Jones fills in the middle of a rock song. The tenor player wants me to play like Ringo. You know, the funny thing was, I remember when I first started the gig, and this is where it really gets funny, when I first started that gig is everyone loved me because I was playing for myself and I knew the right way to play. And the first couple of months were great. Everybody was, and then after that, that's when people sensed, they sensed my, my eagerness. They sensed my youth, my youth. And they sensed that they could get in there. And they were right. They were right, because I let them. It was just a really poor musical decision that basically ended with me being let go, and rightly so, because I was not battle ready. When that time period ended with blood, sweat, and tears, I made a promise to myself that I would never, ever let that happen again. No matter what happened in the rest of my career, that was never happening again. You know, there's one thing to solicit advice and get great advice from great players. That's different. That's different. But you're still the drummer. And you better act like one. Or they're just going to, you know, they're just going to steamroll you. I was never going to be weak. I was never going to be indecisive. And I was going to know, beyond a shadow of a doubt, what the right thing was to do. It was the best thing that ever could have happened to me at a young age was to fail so spectacularly and it's never happened since. If you've played a pair of Vicks in the last 50 years, your history is our history. Come share your game-changing moment at VicFirth50.com.